So I have 170 something, 178 coins. I need 500. Get the theme deck that I'm looking for so that I can start playing theme. None of my theme decks are good. And then I can start playing um, tournaments in the theme format. So we're just going to go ahead and play for a little while. I apologize for any noise you may be able to hear in the background. That is whoever the hell lives above me being super loud. Yep, we want to go first. Um, okay. And the order pad draws an ultra ball. It's It's okay, but... Well, worst case scenario, I've got N. I don't think I can get too many cards out of my hand to make Lily worth it. Without an Ultra Ball. Alright, we're gonna order pad. Got a head, it's perfect, so I can grab the Ultra Ball. I'm gonna discard Rare Candy and N. Actually, keep N, we're gonna get rid of Charge Bug. Don't need it. Um, okay, we probably should have discarded the energy, but that's fine. Play Lily for six. Oof, should have discarded both rare candies. Now we have too many. Um... Okay, we didn't get a heads on that either. Okay, we're we're gonna we're we're a little bricked right now. All right, let me pull up the chat on my phone and hope my phone doesn't freeze. I still have no idea what this guy's deck is. Acro bike. Is it? No, it's not. It's not. It can't be Night March. Did he just discard a double colorless? What did he put in his hand? It must have been insane. Really? He super rods for one card? Oh, he has a special charge. Okay. So that explains why he put the double colorless in his, in his deck. Or in his discard. Noob Gamer, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Deep ball. Okay. I still have no idea what his deck is. He's, the only Pokemons I've seen are Unknown and Mew. Which isn't exactly the most amazing deck. Um, anything he discarded? Okay, no. Still nothing to let me know what he's playing. Nest Ball, maybe this will help. Okay, he's playing... Passimian. Or however you pronounce that. Alright. Um, this could potentially be bad. <clears throat> well, how much is he dealing right now? He's dealing 30. Uh, so he's dealing 70 automatic. He's dealing 70 off the bat. So he's going to kill Grubbin. Which is not the end of the world because I have a second one. Um, especially if I draw like an Ultra Ball here, this is going to be great. That's not what I wanted to draw. I don't want to play the Charge Bug. I think I want to play N. We're going to go ahead and load an energy onto this and play N. Come on, rare candy. Shit, didn't get a rare candy. Play Medicham and Expanded. Um, we'll see if I have the cards to build that. Let's see, this is not looking good for me. Um, I'll discard Bridget and Guzma. I got a Floatstone, or, um, Burst Seeker in my hand, so I'm not that worried. I think we'll grab an Oranguru to potentially draw more cards. 
Um, yes, we're gonna do that, and then after grass energy here, Orangaroo. I could potentially, I could just use my GX attack. I think I'm going to. We're just gonna get a big hand right now. Alright, so we got 18 cards left in the deck. The energies are in the discard, just two, so not that bad. Um, maybe I should have evolved Grubbin. That was a mistake. Well, I got an Ultra Ball, so it's not the end of the world. <coughs> um, how many rare candies are in my discard? Two, so we got, I think, I don't remember if I play three or four. I think I play four, so I think there's two left. There's at least one left in the deck. And then I've played uh, two order pads. I know there's one order pad left in the deck, so there's a chance to get this. So he's dealing uh, 30, so 90. So he's dealing 100 this turn. So that is a two shot. Although I guess even if he had all four, it's still a two shot. This is not good. Um, so he's gonna two sh We're gonna play the Wishful Baton on this. Um, play an energy here. We got the rare candy, perfect. We can charge up our Vika Volt. Um, we can go ahead and throw two on to. Those are the only two energies left in the deck, though, which is a little concerning. Do I have. We can shuffle these back in. Um,. Do I have... Okay, so my uh, Super Rod is still in the deck, unless it's prized up. Although I think I grabbed it earlier in the game. I'm going to discard two of these. And we're going to grab... Um, oof. I got a Rayquaza that's prized. That's not great. We're going to do this. Um, we're going to play Cynthia. I got two prize requazas. That's really bad. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and kill this Mew. So we're gonna keep all the energies, which is good. Oh, I didn't draw the requaza. I really need those extra requazas. Revive. Okay, that's that's fine. He's gonna kill this requaza here. Um, he might run out of energies though. Nope, he's got that. Okay. Special shot, and he's got the double colorless back in his deck. I'm gonna draw for it. Well, I'm gonna keep all these energies unless he's got a um, tool removal. Um. This is not looking great for me, though. It's going to be a lot of prize cards to take. <laughs> well, if he takes this, it goes down to three, and then I can play N on my next turn. I don't think there's anything specific that I want to play. I'll draw five. He'll be down to three. I'm going to load all of these on the Vikavolt. Vikavolt can actually attack. So maybe I should have done it on like a Rangaroo instead. Um, yeah, I don't know. All right, um, we're gonna throw Grass Energy onto our Vika Bolt here. I'm actually going to drop your hand. That's not N. Drop your hand down really low. Uh, we're gonna drop you down to three cards. Yes. Come on. Okay, we got we got the super rod, so that's not the worst thing in the world. The problem is I just still don't have I need to high roll here. Okay, we got actually a Rayquaza that I can throw back in the deck, so we're gonna do that. Um Hmm. We're gonna lose three energies here though, which is unfortunate, which means I I wanna leave those energies in the deck until next turn. Um I can play Lele down. And we'll search for a supporter. Um, I'm going to search for Gardenia. 
that I can actually heal this up for 80 and potentially survive two shots. I have not done the math in my head, so I don't actually know if it works that way, but uh, we'll see. Because he's doing 100 at the moment, um, and if I heal up 80, that gets me to 20, and then he deals another... Yeah, so actually, Gardania will give me a surviving chance, um, which is good. He might just straight up attack here and not play anything, hopefully. Okay, you got a Bursting Balloon. That's unfortunate. Uh, I need a tool removal for that. Do I have... Have I discarded all my tool removals? No, they're both still in the deck. Uh, he's going to grab a Passimian. Which means... Um... He's going to be dealing 120 damage, and then it will knock it out if I attack without using Gardenia. Um, hmm. He did not play a Passimian. Okay. <clears throat> I need a tool removal. Um, yes. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, here's my options. Either I heal 80 from this, and then it goes up to 80 when I hit this, and then he still one-shots. No, actually, it, I don't think it one-shots then. Because he still needs a Mew and a double colorless. Um. I don't need to take any energies out of my deck right now, so we'll, we'll just leave that. It's gonna hit this for... 60, which means he's going to need, um, <coughs> yeah, he's got a Passimian here. He's going to need a double colorless, but it won't even kill it with this, I don't think. Got a Mew, okay. But he's going to have to retreat for this. Um, he might have a Switch or a Guzma. Got a Sycamore, okay. How many cards are left in his deck? Okay, he's got a, he's got a decent amount. He's nowhere close to decking. In fact, I'm closer to decking than he is. Um, Nest Ball, not really that threatening, I don't think. Uh, actually, it might be a little threatening. Nest Ball is very threatening if he gets a double colorless here. If he doesn't, I'm in the clear. And I think I can win this. But if he gets that double colorless this turn, then I'm in a lot of trouble. I wonder if it's worth retreating this Rayquaza, um, because I don't exactly need all that energy. It might be. It might be worth playing the other Rayquaza instead. I think that might be what I end up doing. Because that'll, that'll keep me... That'll give me an extra prize card. Muscle Band, okay, that's... Ah, he got the double colorless. This is going down. Damn it. Uh, we're in trouble. We're in a lot of trouble here. I need to take three prize cards in the time it takes him to take one. Um, well, go ahead and bridge it and throw the extra Rayquaza down so I have an attacker. Doesn't really matter what I use here. We're going to throw one here and one here. I don't think it matters where this goes. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I'm well, I'm closer to... Eh, it doesn't really matter. Um... Okay, so it's still going to take two hits for this to kill me, which gives me a chance, especially if I retreat. The only problem is if I retreat into this, I have to discard three energy from it, and then I have to attach two energy from nowhere. Fighting Fury Belt, I don't really care about that. I've got enough damage to deal with that. Uh, I need him to not... How many double colors does he have in the discard? He's got two. Okay. He's got a teammate, though, so he's going to get the double colorless here. I don't think he's going to quite one-shot this, though. Um, which gives me a chance. The only issue is I don't have another attacker. Unless I have a Guzma. Do I have Guzmas? I have one Guzma in the deck, and... Okay, so just one Guzma in the deck. All three Burst Seekers are in the discard. I don't think this is going to one-shot, if I'm not mistaken. 
which means I can retreat it. <clears throat> um, if I go ahead and attack, then I just lose. I need to retreat this for something. Probably Vikavolt. The only issue is I need a Guzma in the next two turns. <clears throat> it's gonna be close. It's gonna be very close. So he's not gonna one shot this. But there is no, there's absolutely zero point in attacking that. We've got a Sycamore. I think I'm gonna retreat and attack with. Oh, do I have any energy? So I got Tool Card, Steel Blower, and Gu I need a Guzma. Um, I can't play any of these supporters. I need to top deck Guzma next turn in order to win the game. That's literally my only chance here. Just to top deck Guzma. Wait, is my Super Rod prized? No, I've used it. Okay. So I have to top deck Guzma here in order to... Um... He only did a 140 with that, so I'm not... I should be in the clear in terms of the amount of damage that I'm taking. Um, I have to top deck Guzma here in order to win the game. I've got a 25% chance to win the game here. <laughs> it's not great. Wait, what? Oh, weakness. I'm so dumb. Yeah, no, there was no chance of winning that game then. Yep. That was, that was it. Alright, Medicham. Let's see. Um... Nope. Uh, let's show, let's see, not owned. So I assume... You mean this version. Um, let's see. This Pokemon may attack twice in a turn. If the first attack knocks out your your opponent's active Pokemon, you may attack again after your opponent chooses a new active Pokemon. Okay. Uh, this attack isn't affected. So basically, you just charge this up with a bunch of status things and attack multiple times. Is that what I'm getting from this? Um, we could try it. Let's check the trades. See if I can get anything out of this. Uh, okay. Like, uh, I spell it wrong? Maybe. Um, or maybe just nobody's trading it. Alright, well, that's gonna be quite a while <coughs> for me to even get that. Unless I do some trading myself. So we're not going to play that right now since I don't have the cards for it. Um, I could trade away this Alolan Exeggutor deck. It's not really that great, to be honest. It's kind of just okay. Um, I'm going to keep playing Rayquaza for now. It has less counters than Ultra Necrozma GX. Which I like. It seems a little less consistent though. And it doesn't it hits less hard for more energy. So that's where Ultra Necrozma uh beats it, but it does Ultra Necrozma does have um a lot more counters. Like Skeptile. If if your opponent's playing Skeptile, you just auto lose. Okay, perfect. We're going to choose Rayquaza because that's the only option I can pick here. Um, I would like an Ultra Ball. That would be kind of great. Toxapex, okay. You might be playing... Um, you might be playing Alakazam EX as well. Yes, we want to draw a card. Nope, he's playing Mewtwo. All that's kind of a good attack. Skyla, okay. I don't actually play Skyla in any, any of my decks. I wonder if I should. 
Okay, well, I can't play that this turn, so I'm not that worried. Okay. All right. Got a Tapu Lele. Um, I could slap down on the bench and grab a Bridget to grab me more cards. Bridget. The only problem is I don't want to play... Okay, we don't have a Ranguru in the deck, so we'll go ahead and slap these three down. Ranguru is prized right now. Um, do I want to discard all this stuff? Sure. We'll play Tempest DX, so we'll discard everything. Alright. This hand's not great, to be honest. If it had a rare candy, it would be pretty good. But it doesn't. If we top deck rare candy, though... Um, I didn't throw any in the discard pile, so we're okay on that. I do only have two Vika Volts left, but that's fine. I only technically need one. Um, Pokemon has any special energy. It does 60 more damage, which means whatever he draws with Lele can't be used. Uh, and I might actually end that away depending on what he gets. Grab Lysander. Uh, I don't want him to have that, so we're going to end that away. Alright. I don't think he can attack yet. No, he can't. That's fine. We can get rid of that, uh, potentially. Wait. Oh, on, a, on the bench. Okay, I see. Um, Wishful Baton. Nice. Throw this here. Charge Bug. Hmm. I think I want Guzma. Uh, I don't want Bridget in the deck. Um, and I think I can throw Guzma in the discard pile so that I can get, um... Do I have any... Okay, I've got a Lightning Energy in here, so hopefully I don't discard any more energies. Nah, we discarded a Lightning. That's not great. Um, okay, we can go ahead and play N here. We need to top deck uh, Rare Candy as well. Uh, if we get a Rare Candy off this Order Pad, then we're in business. Okay, we did. Perfect. I don't need this charge bug, so we'll get rid of that, and I'll get rid of the other Wishful Baton. Um, grab Vikable, which means one must be prized. Okay, so this charge bug's just gonna sit here on the bench until I grab that. Um, eight poison cap. Jesus Christ. Um, well, we got the Wishful Baton, so I'm not that worried. Okay, we'll attach the Grass Energy to this one, and the Lightning Energy to this one, throw a Wishful Baton down here, deal quite a bit of damage, but I'm still gonna die. I mean, that's a two hit at least. <coughs> Oh, but he can heal it, can he? Well, no, he needs extra energy. He's gonna retreat that, which makes... No, he's not gonna retreat that. Oh, you turn board, I think. No, oh, that's fine. He's gonna take two prize cards, but we'll take three. <laughs> the problem is we have... Basically, no cards in our hand. Order pad. Is there anything useful? Verse Seeker is great. We'll grab a Verse Seeker and refresh our hand. <coughs> in fact, I might even grab the N. Drop his hand down even smaller. Before I, uh, before I don't kill this? How did he heal?
What? How did he heal? Does it matter, though? I don't think it matters that much. Um... Grab these and throw them onto our bike a little. So we're still gonna kill it. Take three prizes. So we're definitely ahead. Okay, we got our Oranguru. We got our second Vikavolt. He's throwing out a Tapu Lele, which is good, I guess. Um, we could take his Alolan Muck, because I do have a... Uh, actually, I think we've got the game here right now. Because I don't think he's going to attack this turn. And I've got a Guzma in the discard, and I've got a Verse Seeker. So as long as he doesn't play N, we should, I think, just win this next turn. I'm pretty sure I've... Okay, he's just going to concede. Yeah, I think he knows that I've got a, a high chance of guzma his his thing. Alright, 50 coins plus the 25 from that. Brings us to 203. Uh, next game, we should technically, theoretically, if we win, uh, we should get those two booster packs. Alright. I really don't really care about the booster packs, though. I kind of just want the coins so I can get myself a theme deck. Start playing in theme format. Yes, we want to go first. I wonder if this is a go second deck, though, because of the GX attack. Because you can't even attack on your first turn anyways. I wonder if- th this probably is a go second deck, actually. Maybe. I think it is, because then on your third turn, or on your second turn, if you go second, so first turn you can ult you can GX attack, and then Next turn, you can, if you've got Rare Candy and Ultra Ball, you can evolve your Grubbin, and then just start attacking. Yeah, this is definitely a go second deck. I should start going second with it. I don't have any energies. If I top deck an energy, well, I can't go, I can't attack first turn anyways. I hope I top deck an energy, uh, so that I can actually play. If I don't top deck an energy, it might be worth Sycamore. Uh, that's a lot of stuff that I don't want to discard, but we're going to have to stick them more because I need the energy. Alright. Um, still blower is fine. Not really anything I can discard, though. I, mean, I can discard the field blower. Uh, there's not really anything I need to discard this turn. Where did I get these leaves and deck box? And I don't know what his coin is because it's tails right now. Okay, he's going to evolve that into Espeon GX. Which does 30 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So 60 plus 90 is 150, maybe? Yes, 150, which will knock this out. Um, so I'm actually in a very bad spot right now. We're sort of bricked right now, which is not good. Um, nope, don't want that. Want this. He's definitely going to be two prize cards ahead of me. Which is very unfortunate. Um... I wonder if it was a good idea to put that Grubbin down. Probably not. I definitely should not have put that Grubbin down. I should have Cynthia'd it away next turn. Or even Sycamore'd it away, because I don't need it. Ability locked Garbodor. Okay, we're in a world of hurt. 
yeah, we need to kill that immediately, or this is going to go very poorly. It's not going to one-shot this, I don't think. We only have one energy on this. Uh, this is confused, which is not good. Really, we need to top deck an energy here. That's fine. If I top deck an energy, we're okay. Because then I can kill this Trubbish before it sets up. We do have a Goods on the discard, right? Yes. Oh, he's using his GX attack. Ah, well that's, that's not good. Just 100 on, on the Rayquaza. Okay, he knows. Okay, yeah. No, we're conceding. I needed to top deck exactly. I assume he's got a um, thing in his hand, a Garbodor, and then that just completely fucks us. I don't want to play this deck anymore. Um, let's play something else. I don't want Swampert. We can get rid of that. Um, we'll play Garchomp, I guess. Well, that's not great. I have a feeling this is going to be potentially Gardevoir GX, so I'm not entirely sure. And we didn't get a fucking starter Pokemon. Fantastic. So my opponent gets an extra damn prize card, which is just absolutely wonderful. This is a go second deck, so hopefully I don't remember if he picked second or first. Nope, he picked he picked second, which is not good for me. I don't want to discard anything. Um, oh, but we need to because. I have to get rid of a double colorless, I think. I, need, I can't give him this gibble. I need to retreat it. If I was going second, then that would be perfectly fine to leave that up front. So he's got an Espeon, or not an Espeon, uh, Sylveon GX deck. Maybe I should have left that up front. I didn't, I didn't, I paid no attention to the Eevee. Okay, he does have, it is a Gardevoir GX deck though, that's what I thought. Cause he's got Ralts on the bench. So this is going to be a very tough fight. And I think I'm going to 100% just lose. Does Gardevoir have 230 or 250 health? I can't remember. If it's got 230, we've got a chance. If it's got 250, we are royally screwed. <laughs> Although we do have strong energy in the deck, so actually we're not completely screwed. Um, I don't want to draw another one of these. We'll throw them on the bench. Got a Cynthia. Absolutely fantastic. Which means we can actually do stuff. We have a Float Stone, which is good. Um, I may give him the Gibble. Uh, if he's got a DCE, he can have my Gibble. Go ahead and throw another Gibble down on the bench. And that's about it. There's no point in throwing this Wishful Baton down with no basic energies. Rare Candy, okay. So he's got a Gardevoir online, which has 230, so I should be okay. As long as I've just got a Choice Band. Oh, that's not good. Got two Gardevoirs on the bench. And they're charging up.
Well, we need to kill the Gardevoir pretty much immediately. Um, is he going to retreat the Gardevoir? Ah, this is not good. I need to charge up another Gibble, and very fast. Which means I need... Oh, he's attacking with this, which is not good. Um, really not good for me. We're in a very bad spot right now. He's going to be able to one-shot every single one of my Pokemon. Uh, we got a Garchomp, which is fantastic. It could not have come at a more opportune time. Um... The only issue is I don't exactly have free retreat. Well, I do have free retreat. I can grab a um uh I have a Cynthia in hand, so I can grab a float stone. I can take out a Sylveon, but then my Garchomp's just instantly dead, which is really not ideal. Um, Wishful Baton's kind of pointless to put on that, because there's no basic energies anyways. Maybe I should have grabbed a card with a Ranguru first. Um, we're going to throw Brooklet Hill down. I don't want him having free retreat. Um, and I guess we can throw down another Rayolu. I mean, we'll kill this, but the problem is then he just kills this. And I don't have another thing charged up. So he is only taking single prize cards. Whereas I'm taking two. So maybe we can get away with winning that way. Uh, it's not looking great. I'm not gonna lie. It's really not looking great. What did I grab with... Uh, Lucario, because whatever I grabbed, I should not have grabbed. I should have grabbed a, uh, double colorless. Okay, so I need to throw a stadium there to get rid of that. Um. Oh, yeah, we're totally boned. Because this is 150 off the... Yeah, I'm just going to concede. We have no chance of winning this. Because I've got rid of both my Brooklet Hills. Absolutely no chance of winning that. A metal type deck. And we lost the coin flip. Fantastic. Although I think this is a go second deck, so most people want to go first, so that's probably fine. Uh, unless he's got a go second deck as well. He does have a go second deck, which means this is not good. I don't want to go first with this deck. I want to be able to fucking use Ascension. Although this hand's pretty garbage, if I don't draw a draw supporter. If I do draw a draw supporter, it's okay. Um, okay, that gives me absolutely no tell as to what deck he's playing. We really need that draw supporter, or we are totally screwed. That's not a draw supporter. That's also not a draw supporter. Okay, uh, this is not good. He's got Remoraid up front, though, which is good. Um, well, we're just going to hope he doesn't have anything to play on the bench, and then I can win that way. We do have Lucario GX in our hand. What is this? Uh, that player can't have more than three bench Pokemon. That's not great. He oh, yes, we win! <laughs> yes! I did it! Go! Get him! Ah, uh, yes. Double brick for the win. Both players were bricked, so we got it. And we got our packs. Let's open our packs. To be honest, I'm not really here for the packs. I'm here for the coins. How long till- yeah, I need- I got quite a while till I get those 600 coins. We're gonna have, um, what do these contain? Um, contains one random card- let's see. 
a number of strainer tokens. So 820 might be the thing we have to get to to get to our... Uh... Nope, I didn't want to click trade. I wanted to click collection to get to our um, 500 pa uh, coins that we need. So I need one of those new theme decks so I can start playing the theme format and start doing tournaments with theme decks. Because none of my theme decks are any good at all. What do we got? Eh. It's okay. What do we got? It's even worse. Alright. Back to the game. Uh, let's keep playing Garchomp. I think I'm having fun with it. Somehow we've got advantage here. So he's got like seven different types. Please go. Yes, we're going second. We can play Ascension. No, we didn't get a starter. <laughs> no. Dragon. I didn't even see Dragon in his. He must be playing like five different types of Pokemon in this deck. What is this guy's deck? Is it Alternate Krosma? No. He's got Dark in there. Oh dear, this is bad. Well, if we get a Float Stone, it's fine. What in the hell? Oh, we are totally screwed. I can't kill that in one hit. I need like three fucking... I need all of my strong energy on one Pokemon for that. We're going to have to high roll a float stone and an energy here in order to have any chance. We got both. Perfect. Okay, we're going to evolve into Gibble. Hopefully next turn I draw a Garchomp because then I can just hit him for, although I don't have a Cynthia. If I draw a Cynthia, it's pretty good, though. Uh, let's see. If this has at least one extra addition to its cost, you can take two prize cards. Oh, Lord. What did he do? Oh, he played Lysander. Um, we got a Cynthia in our deck. Or in our discard. We can grab Cynthia here. We need a Float Stone and a Garchomp. And, uh, well, we got one of them. Um, let's throw another Gibble on the bench. We can grab this discard, choice band, and a regular energy here. I can grab the Garchomp, but this is still stuck on the front lines, which is very unfortunate. If I had gotten a float stone there, it would have been pretty good for me. Uh, but unfortunately I did not, which means I am definitely royally screwed. Especially if he, if he gets another, uh, if he has another Lysander, I'm conceded. Okay, good. The problem is I still can't really deal any damage to this. Um, how much is a float stone? Add though. So we have, let's see, we've got 30 plus 20, so we've got 250 damage right now. A float stone adds another 20. Um, so we can only deal 270 damage right now, which is not good in the slightest. Um, I guess we can kill it with something else on the next turn. Like, maybe our Lucario. Uh, we're gonna deal 270 this turn. And it is a tag team GX. Just gonna straight up. Oh, that's his ability, never mind. Um, discard a Pokemon from your hand and heal 60 damage. That's not that bad. Uh, we have a Lucario coming up, a Lucario GX. I think I can still take this down. Charging up his other Pokemon. 
not good for me. Professor's letter. Grabbing more energies. Um. All right, he's gonna take one prize card there. But we can go ahead. It says free retreat, so it makes sense to put that up, anyways. I'm gonna discard this Gibble actually. This Gibble and the Verse Seeker, I think. Need the energies. Uh, we're gonna have to grab Lucario GX. We can take down this first Pokemon here. Uh, nope, we want to throw something on the bench. We can't throw anything on the bench. Grab three, or one card, I guess. Uh, Floatstone, pretty good, actually. I'll save it in my hand. We can take three prize cards here. We are ahead now. Um, he's going to have to take two turns to charge that, which is good, because it means I can actually hit some stuff. Got our second Ryo. Uh, we already had one in our hand. I don't, that doesn't make any sense. Um, 30 damage times another damage counters on this Pokemon. That's not great. Um, and it has Psychic Weakness, which is also not great. We need to charge something up to kill that. We kind of need a Rare Candy right now. Um... This is not good. This is really not good. Well, I can throw this down. 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 Ah, uh, shit. This is not good. I mean, I guess we can just poke it for 30. So this is definitely going to be able to charge up. Actually... If he gets five energy on this, then I just lose, because he's going to take all four prize cards in one sweep. Which means we need to kill this before we can... before anything bad happens. Um, let's see. Turn all of your prize cards... Oh, no, no, he'll just take two prize cards. Okay. Which is fine. Um, I guess he'd attack first, and then just next turn use his... Prize cards, but he needs five energy on that, so which actually he can do in the next two turns. Uh, and we're bricking really hard right now, so this is not good. I need, I needed to have retreated that turn, and I didn't. Uh, so if he gets a retreat, okay, that's rude, but I guess not. Oh god, I've only got four energies left in the deck. Is that a rainbow energy? Yeah. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Um, We're in trouble. We're in a lot of trouble here. I need to retreat this and give him something else. Because I can't afford to give him the two prize cards off of the Lucario. Field blower. He's getting rid of both my... Probably my Brooklet Hill and a Floatstone, maybe? Doesn't make a lot of sense to get rid of Brooklet Hill. Although he did. I would have gotten rid of both the float stones, to be honest, because my bench is already full, so Brooklet Hill is useless, and I've already used I've already used all my basic Pokemon. There's none left in the deck. That guy probably should have used Brooklet Hill. Okay, that actually gives me a chance, putting two That gives me a chance. The fact that he put two energies on, on there like that gives me a chance. We need I have a chance here, actually. I lost my chance. <laughs> uh, okay, well, he uses GX. He still got two. I still have a chance, actually. I need to top deck very well here, but there still is a chance. How many Cynthia's are in the discard? Just two. Which means that there's still two in the deck. It's it's possible that I could win. I need a Cynthia next turn or I just straight up lose. I need a Cynthia with all the draws in the fucking world. I'm going to throw this down because uh, I don't need it. 
I guess. We need Cynthia with every draw in the world, unless he has Lysander, in which case I just auto-lose. Um, actually, not quite, because that won't kill it. I need Cynthia, and I need to draw with those six cards. I need a Floatstone. I need... Um, No, actually, I just lose. I need an energy last turn. Yeah, I think I lose. Because I needed an energy last turn. Um... Yeah, I can't attach to... Yeah, nope, I lose. If I had gotten an energy last turn, I could have won. In fact, I needed specifically a strong energy or a double colorless. Although there, there was a, there was a an even chance of drawing all those as well as a basic. There was two of each of each, basic double colorless and, um, strong energy left in the deck. I just didn't really get lucky there. Let's see, there was twenty two cards in the deck. Uh, I needed one of six, or well, one of four, um, would have done that. So four, basically four out of twenty two. Um, I'm too lazy to do the math. Rounded down to like 4 out of 20, so there was basically like a 20% chance of, of getting what it, exactly what I needed there. And then I needed a Cynthia on the next turn. Um, it was a very slim chance of winning. Okay, we got a Brooklet Hill, we got a Lucario on the bench, potentially. Um... Yes, yeah, so we want to draw another card. Field blower, good. Orangru up front. That's fine. Especially since it's got fighting weakness, we can kill it pretty easily for a prize card. Um So we can actually actually we've got a very good hand right now. Especially going second. <clears throat> He's got Orangru up front, which means I'm not worried about taking any damage just yet. Shuckle GX, I don't really care that much about. I've got the three energies. I can deal with the Shuckle GX. Um, Lolan Vulpix. Lolan Ninetales GX might be a little tricky. I don't remember what its attacks are. All right. He's actually attaching a double colorless to his Oranguru. Interesting. Oh, this guy is fucking smart. Jeez, this guy is smart. Because I can't attach an energy to this. Damn, this guy is so smart. Oh, we are boned. No, we're not boned. We just have to play it differently. Um... I wish he didn't attach that to the fucking... What are the odds he has an energy in his hand? We're gonna we're gonna high roll it. If he doesn't have an energy in his hand, then we're fine. If he's got an energy in his hand, we're probably still okay. We can kill it with the Lucario GX. He's got an energy. Okay, so this is dead. We can still kill it with Lucario GX, so I'm not super worried just yet. Imagine if I had a Field Blower there. Or not a Field Blower, a um, Wishful Baton. That actually would be very good. Um, okay. So I'm not out of this just yet. I want to put another Ryolu on the bench. Uh, we'll throw a floatstone down here, and I just need a single energy. If I don't draw a single energy, I'm conceding. Okay, we're good. Um, okay. Go ahead and evolve this to Garchomp. We can kill his uh, Oranguru. Take a prize. Strong energy is very good. <laughs> now we just need a regular Lucario, and then we're kind of in business. We've got our engine going. Um, 
We can't deal anything to this, unfortunately. That's going to slow us down quite a bit, actually. Can we bench snipe anything? Skull picks, no. Or we can bench snipe this one Squirtle with uh, Garchomp. So, actually, that's probably fine to put that up. Uh, we can go ahead and double colors and bench snipe his Squirtle unless he evolves at this turn. Um, take an extra prize card there. And stop him from setting anything up. Does he have... Okay, please evolve. Please don't evolve the 50 Squirtle. Please be stupid. And not... No, he's smart! Damn it! No, fuck. Um, damn it. I can't bench snipe any of these unless I draw. Actually, I might be able to bench snipe the vault. I might be able to bench snipe one of them, actually. Uh, does Prism Star. Oh. Oh. Is it over? It might be over now. It's over! Of course he had a fucking Guzma. Can I just play, like, a bad deck? I'm gonna change my avatar after this game. I feel like there should be more of a order there. All right, and we didn't get a starter again. Fantastic. Opponent gets an extra card. Cool, cool. Are we going second? I don't remember. I think we're going first, right? I don't really want to go first. Flying, f oh, it's not flying flip. Happy Coco, okay. Um, okay. Let me switch this Pokemon. Okay, so it's just kind of like a switching out deck. All right. We are going second, though, so we're going to be able to charge up our... Um... We're going to be able to evolve our Gibble. If this Pokemon came your active Pokemon this turn, it does 70 more damage. Ah! Well, I think I lose then. Yep, I needed a bench Pokemon there, because the chances of him having, um, yeah, no, there was just no way I was winning that with, with just the one Pokemon. He was going to take out the, uh, even if I evolved the Gavite, he definitely would have taken it out with um, Zapdos. No chance of winning that game. Is this the same guy? I think he's playing the exact same deck. It might be the same guy. Um, play Ryolu out on front. Okay, leave these two in hand. I'll play them on my turn. Uh, Lele, I'm gonna grab Bridget with probably. Am I going first or second? I don't remember. I am going first. Okay, so we're definitely grabbing Bridget first turn. Strong energy goes here. Um, grabbing Bridget, which only gets us two Pokemon on the bench, but that's fine. Um, we'll grab Prism Star and we'll grab a second Raolu. Ah! 
Uh, I kind of hope I get a rare candy this turn. That would be an ideal card to draw. And then I also need... Uh, maybe I shouldn't have put the energy on Ryolu, not knowing whether or not... Um, oh god, if you've got... You've already played Skyla, so you don't have Kiawe. Good. Um, okay, this is not the same guy, and not the same deck. It's very annoying, though. I hate fire decks. They have so much energy charge, it's ridiculous. Let's see what they got. Kiawe, they got Welder, they got Max Elixir. What else do they got? Um, this, apparently, just fucking straight up charging themselves. It's ridiculous. They've got way too much energy charge, and I do not approve. Um... I'm going to get rid of Gibble, and I don't have any basic energy, so Wishful Baton's useless right now. Okay, throw this down here, throw the colorless here, grab an extra card, that's exactly the card that I needed to get. So we're dealing 160 to that. Um, Uh, it's definitely going to die, though, very soon. I don't, it's not, Lucario's not going out this turn, unless he's got a choice band. Um, he's got a choice band, then Lucario's dead this turn, which is very unfortunate. Oh, he's got a Daydina. Yeah, this guy's deck's way better than mine. Uh, and this isn't even, this is just a regular GX, so I'm only going to take two prize cards off of it. Not looking good for me, I'm going to be honest. Um, I got two heads? What a fucking lucky scumbag. Oh my god, we are so screwed. So screwed. Okay, he uses GX attack. How much energy does he have in his hand? Just the one, okay. That's fine. Um, we can kill this. Charge this. And then I can hopefully get something useless to discard here. Palpat is actually perfect. Um, we're gonna grab Lucario here. I can keep him from getting a prize card if I grab myself an Ultra Ball. Um, can he get a prize card then in the next turn? Uh, if he's got three, if he's got one more energy, he takes a prize. So maybe we don't let him get the Garchomp. Maybe I just grab a Cynthia in hand for later. Um. And then don't let him get the Garchomp, because that's really all- Maybe I just- I think I let him take the Lucario here, right? Um, I don't have any- I should really run Guzmas in this deck, to be honest. Or Lysanders, even though um, I want to play Cynthia. Uh, in this specific, specific, blah, 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 specific case, killing that would be amazing. Um... Unfortunately, I can't. We'll take the two prize cards and we'll have to let him take the uh, um, Lucario GX, which is unfortunate, but then I think we can 270. We're going to need exactly a choice band uh, and... Okay, that's fine. So he's going to take out Lucario GX here. Um... Can I kill this, though? I need... What do I need? If we have a choice band... So we've got, let's see, 20 from this. Choice band will give me... So that's 250. So I need a choice band and a strong energy to take this out. Uh, which means I can grab one of them with Lucario. I need to guarantee... I need to high roll the other with Cynthia. And then we're in an okay position. Um... 
Ooh, uh, let's see. What do I have more of in my deck? We have... How many choice bands? We got two choice bands in the deck and three strong energies. So I'm grabbing a choice band and high rolling with the Cynthia. There's a better chance. Uh, we'll also go ahead and throw down another Pokemon. Start charging up another Gibble. Um, I will throw the choice band here and then I need to high roll a strong energy. Otherwise, I'm dead. We got the strong energy so we can take out Reshiram and Charizard. All right. Perfect. We can grab our three prize cards, and now he is in a very bad spot, and I am in a very good spot. Um, the only issue is, if he kills this, I'm pretty boned. What's he got? Uh, he's charged- okay, he's gonna charge this. Let's see, 50 times. Discard any amount of basic energy from this Pokemon, this does 50 more damage for each card. Okay, so if he discards- if he charges up two on that, play his supporter, what does this do? Okay, um, 210, okay, we've got the Verse Seeker, so I can win this, he's got the Blacksmith, but he already played a Supporter, so we can't play the Blacksmith this turn. Um, he's got one charged on this, Crushing Charge, uh, let's see, yes, we got it, hell yeah, oh, we did it. All right. Got a prize ticket, which is not what I want. I wanted tokens. Um, we'll get to a hundred and or three hundred and three tokens if I win one more game. Um, I need a lot of tokens. I still need two hundred tokens after that. Jesus Christ! All right, we're gonna play Ultra Krasma. I think we've. We've done enough Garchomp for now. Let's see if we can get some good stuff going with this. Okay, he's got an all lightning deck. It might be Nuzzle. Um, Nuzzle's okay. I think, well, Nuzzle's gonna be a lot of... Uh, okay, nobody got a starter, good. Nuzzle's gonna be a lot of prize cards to have to take. Because he's not gonna have any GXs. Are you kidding me? Two in a row with no Pokemon, period. Like, not even just no basic Pokemon. No Pokemon, period. Let's see. Is it Nuzzle? We'll find out in just a second. Alright, we got an Ultra Necrozma. And three Mysterious Treasures. Got a Cynthia in hand. Um, is it Nuzzle? Is it Nuzzle? Or is it some other... No, it is not Nuzzle. Interesting. Okay. Throw down the choice band. Um, we're going to discard this for this. And we're going to grab... Um, I think we want to grab this, actually. And I might actually discard the other mysterious treasure for something else. Um, and just play the Cynthia. So we'll grab... An Inke, I guess. Alright. And then we'll go ahead and play Cynthia and hope I get a Metal Energy. Or Beast Energy. Uh, we got neither, which is not great. We do have our Float Stone here, though, which is very good. Um, I think I'm going to sit on that. I don't think it's worth playing that Ultra Ball and grab- I mean, we could grab a Tapu Lele and then guarantee a trainer, but there's not really a trainer that I'd want other than, like, Cynthia. Okay, he's got Free Retreat. Um, he's not gonna be able to attack this turn, though, I don't think. So, we're not actually that worried. Okay, he's charging that up. Charging this up even more. Uh, I need a Metal Energy. Um... I can discard Cynthia and hopefully whatever else. Hopefully I get a Psych... Oh, I need a Metal Energy, though. Metal Energy is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. We could discard both of these and get a Malamar, but I don't want to do that, I don't think. Um, I think I want to just play Cynthia here. All right. Um, Malamar goes down here. We've got, what, one in the discard pile? Okay. Put it on the other float stone here. Um, 
I'll leave the professor's letter in hand for now. We're gonna go ahead and charge this up. Do a little bit of damage to his Tapu Coco. It's not gonna kill it just yet. We're only dealing 130. Um, but that's fine. Uh, we can kill it next turn because he's not gonna have any enough energies to do anything with it. Although he can retreat it next turn. If he gets another energy on this, then he can actually do something with it. And then we're in a little bit of trouble. I don't really care about the Pokemon Center Lady. That actually is very good for me because it means he can't do anything else. Um, he's grabbing that back. Wow. Does he know I can just kill that, though? Does he... Okay, um, I want to throw these in the discard pile, I think. I'll throw the other Professor's Letter away. I don't want to throw away any, um, metal energies. Uh, we can throw our, let's see, we can grab a second Malamar. I'm going to throw this on the bench. Second Malamar, um, I can get rid of Mew and Inke, I think. I don't need them. Uh, we'll grab our second Malamar. Throw it on the bench. And then, is there anything in the discard pile that I potentially want to throw back in the deck? Not really. Um, the field blower is kind of useless as well, so we're going to go ahead and stand in. Um, and then we're going to charge our Necrozma. Um, just so I don't have to do any math, I'm just going to double charge it just to make sure that I can, in fact, kill this. Uh, I'm pretty sure one energy will do it, but I don't want to take any chances. And we'll go ahead and retreat this and take our two prize cards. All right. And now he is in a pickle. He can hit me if he's got an energy. He didn't play an energy last turn, though, which means he might not have an energy this turn. Um, regardless of whether he plays an energy, I think I've got this. If He needs another Pokemon on the bench. Otherwise, I've got this. Even if he plays an energy, he can't kill me this turn. Unless he's got a choice band, in which case he definitely... Oh, or that. That could definitely kill me. That's potentially bad. Um, please don't get an energy. He got an energy. Okay, well, uh, Alchinder Cosmos going down, so if I don't draw a metal energy or a beast energy, I'm in trouble. Um, I'm not super worried yet. I'm a little worried. I'm not super worried. We need a Metal Energy or a Beast Energy. A Guzma is not either of those. Uh, I'm going to throw down as much stuff as I possibly can. Um, in fact, I might even Field Blower. Just get rid of one of these. Just to get the card out of my hand and out of my deck. Um, I don't want... I mean, I just need a Metal Energy and we're good. We got a Metal Energy. Perfect. Okay, so we can deal only 180, though. Oof, that's not ideal. Um, this is not good for me. This is... Well, he can't attack with that next turn, which is actually really... Okay, so I think we're okay. Um... We can just go ahead and grab both of these. If I had grabbed a Choice Band or a Beast Energy, it'd, it'd be pretty much over. Uh, we're going to deal 180 to this. It's not going to kill it. Um, but that's all I can really do. And he can't attack with that next turn, so I'm actually not super worried yet. Um, Zekrom GX only has 180 health. Perfect for me. Nest Ball. Maybe I should start throwing some... Um, what are they called? Uh, Fighting Fury Belts into this deck to give my uh, Ultra Necrozmas a bit more, um, a bit more HP. Because <clears throat> if it had a Fighting Fury Belt, it would have survived that hit from the other guy before. Okay, he's got a Jolteon EX on the deck, um, which is very unfortunate for me. I need to kill that as soon as possible. Uh, the question is, do I kill Zerora first? Does he he needs th he needs a double colorless to charge that? He's Guzmaning. Why is he Guzmaning this out? Uh okay. Do I want the Zerora? I think I want the Zerora. I don't think I. 
Well, he can retreat that, though, um, for something. This can't attack, though, right? What? Uh, excuse me. Um, that's fine. You know what? That's fine. That's, that's very poor wording, to be honest. Uh, this Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. So apparently if you retreat it and put it back in, it just negates that. That's poor wording, in my opinion, and I don't approve. Um, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, we've got a second one on the bench here, although I think we've got... No, we've only got one Floatstone. Although two of them are... One is a so there's one more Floatstone in the deck. Some more, unless it's prized. Um, but we're going to go ahead and take our... Third and fourth prize cards. Um, if I get a metal energy in the next turn, then we're. I mean, we've got. I think we're in good shape here. I think we're okay. And I've got a Guzma, so it doesn't really matter. He's gonna take his. He's gonna take this, uh, which is fine. Actually, we just win, don't we? Yeah, I just win. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I just straight up win. Because he used Swift, right? He didn't use Flash. He doesn't have enough energy to use Flash Ray, so obviously he used Swift. So this is an easy win. Alright. And we take the win. Fifty tokens for me. All right. Wait, you only get five tokens for each additional win. Well, that's bullshit. Three hundred and five tokens gathered. I still need a hundred and ninety-five to go uh, in order to get myself a theme deck that I want. I shouldn't have spent. Um, I'm trying to build like a Gengar deck, so I was buying a couple of Night Striker decks, and I shouldn't have done that. I should have spent those on actually good theme decks. But I spent a thousand tokens on those, uh, which is not ideal. Yeah, we won the coin flip. Uh, Ultimate Cosma can go first, that's fine, because we can't even attack on our uh, first turn anyway, since we need two energies at the very least to charge it. The only Pokemon we have up front, so we're gonna throw that up there. Um, I'm debating on whether or not I want to play N or uh, Bridget or Cynthia, though. Let's see, he's got Garbodor. Okay, apparently he doesn't care. Apparently, I'll just take the win. Uh, you know what? That's fine. I'll take it. Fifty coins. All right, <laughs> easy win. <laughs> All right, only 145 to go, and then I can buy myself a theme deck. Uh, the one of the ones, one of the newest three. I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with yet. This guy's playing a dark deck, which scares me. Um, I don't exactly know why that last guy conceded instantly. He probably had a very good, with ancient, with a, what's it called? Um, item lock Garbodor. I was in a bit of a pickle there. Um... No matter. Okay, so we've got Mysterious Treasure, which can search ourselves. Um, this is an o this is actually a decent hand. We're gonna go ahead and Mysterious Treasure and get rid of uh, that. We're gonna grab um, Don Wings Necrozma here, and we go ahead and play that and throw a Float Stone down on it, and then we can go ahead and uh, bridge it real quick. Grab another one of these, another one of these, and we'll grab an Ultra Necrozma GX. Alright, we're going to throw our Choice Band onto here, and our Psychic Energy onto Ultra Necrozma. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and stand in. I don't think he's going to kill me this turn, so I'm fine with throwing out Ultra Necrozma. Um, worst case scenario, I just need to top deck another one with Cynthia. That's a pretty good first turn. I'll take it. Prevent all damage, uh, including damage done to your opponent. Okay. So we gotta hope he doesn't high roll ahead here. If he doesn't, then we're in very good position. 
So he does he doesn't have another Pokemon on his bench right now. Wait, from your opponents, let's see. Prevent all attacks including damage okay, just to this Pokemon. So it doesn't matter from which Pokemon. So retreating doesn't make a difference. Um we could hope he high rolls or he low rolls the tails. Uh Okay, he's got yeah, this is the deck that I was afraid of. This is a hundred percent the deck that I was afraid of. Okay, that's not ideal for me in the slightest. Um, what, what is that? Uh, this card... Tails, perfect! Um, if this card... Let's see... Attach... Hold on, if this card is attached, each of the tags do 20... Okay. So it's like a slightly worse... It's basically... It's fucking... Um, what should I call it? Uh, oh, let's get rid of it. Actually, I don't. I don't want you to have that. No, you don't get to have that. Please get a metal energy. Beast energy will do. I'll take a beast energy. Throw the beast energy down. We can get rid of his Sneasel. Um, I can get rid. I don't need the Inke in my hand, so we'll get rid of that and grab Malmar. Uh, we can actually charge up. Do I have? Okay, we have one in the in the discard pile. Um, I kind of want to keep this N in my hand, if I'm being honest, uh, but I might discard it, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, we'll grab a second Malamar, and then we'll draw three cards off of Oranguru. So we'll charge up our Malamar. Uh, this will just straight up kill that, so there's absolutely no need to retreat and put it back. Okay, we've got a second energy here. Perfect. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw this on here, and we're just gonna go ahead and kill your Sneasel and take a prize. Alright, we're in a good spot. Um, alright. He needs two energy on his Darkrai, uh, and I've got a Metal Energy, so even if this goes down, um, I'm well set up to have another one. And we just win the game. Alright, perfect. So I don't understand why you only get 5 for 12 or more. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Does it, is it increase each time? No, you just get 5 after every... Well, that's stupid! <laughs> that's so stupid! Uh, whatever. Uh, let's play again. Ooh! Potentially the mirror match! I have never played the mirror match. I played against this deck with another deck, but I've never played against this deck with this deck. So we've got a mirror match on our hands here, um, which I do like. I, I can't lie, I do like that. That's potentially interesting. Uh, I have a very good hand though. Um, hopefully I draw a psychic energy and make the hand even better. All right, Nest Ball. He's playing Nest Balls in his deck. I am playing Bridget's. Okay, it is exactly the mirror match. All right, he's got a very similar deck. Potentially all the same Pokemon with maybe some different trainers. Got a Lily, okay. But he's already played a Psychic Energy, although I guess it doesn't matter because he can't attack on his first turn. And, uh, yeah, this is definitely a go first deck. Going second with this deck is not ideal. Um... Okay, he's got a very good setup first turn. We're gonna throw this down. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the Guzma, I think. Grab our Tapu Lele. And then I don't think I... I need a... Do I want a Bridget or a Cynthia? Or an N. Well, and give some cards. I don't want to do that. Potentially, I think we're going to go with Cynthia here. Um, we'll get rid of this Ultra Ball and throw something else down on the bench. Just... No, we don't want that. We want Ultra Necrozma. Okay, we'll throw this down on the bench. Cynthia. I should have grabbed the card with the Ranguru there, but that's fine. Alright, we've got...
Are there any? No, there's not. Okay. Well, we kind of need our Mew to die here. Um, and we need... Um, so he's probably going to knock out our Mew here, which is good. Um, he needs a Float Stone. As well as... Okay, he doesn't have the Metal Energy. So he's just charging up. So it's going to be a very slow fight. We'll see who wins first. Um, Guzma is in my discard, so if I get a Verse Seeker, we can kill that, potentially. Um, let's see. Does this have a retreat cost? It doesn't. Okay, so we can retreat this immediately if I want to. Um, which means we can actually take out... Ooh, we can take out his Dominic's Necrozma and be in very good shape. Ooh. Yes, let's do that. Let's do that. All right. And then he's going to probably take this out if he's got a metal energy. But I'm not super worried because we've got Professor's Letter and Mysterious Treasure. Um, okay, we're going to take our two prize cards. We're two prize cards ahead. Uh, he could potentially take out our... I don't know if he's got a Metal Energy, though, because I feel like he would have attached it by now. Okay, he must have a Metal Energy if he's willing to play this, or he's got to draw a supporter to hope to draw a Metal Energy. Rescue Stretcher. Okay. Don't know if that's... Okay, he's playing that on the bench. Okay. And he might stand in for that. Cynthia. Okay, he's hoping to draw metal energy here. We could high roll and, and have him not draw metal energy, but he probably got it. Didn't play it immediately. Okay, he's getting a Ranguru. Okay. He's thinning his hand. He might not have a metal energy. He's got a metal energy. Okay. That's not the worst thing in the world, actually, because it means I can charge up. Um, I can kill this next. Actually, because we have a choice band. So, yeah, actually, we got this. So we can kill his guy. Um, we can go ahead and discard this. Just grab ourselves a Ultra Necrozma. Place this down. Place a choice band. And we've got this. So I can go ahead and... Um, I think I want two Metal Energies. Because I want one for later. Um... Then we can go ahead and do this. Grab another uh, alternate Krosma back to our hand for next turn. All right, then we can power up our um, alternate Krosma with two psychic energies. And then we can go ahead and retreat Mew. And then we can go ahead and take two more prize cards. All right. And what are the odds? He's putting a Ranguru up. That's exactly what we want to see. Because we have Guzma. Um, which means I win the game. Woo! I think. Well, it's not over yet. Okay, he's discarding that. What's he grabbing? Is if I Guzma this and I win, I can power up Mew and use this. Um, or actually, I can just retreat for this. Okay, as long as he doesn't kill Alter Necro... Actually, it doesn't matter. I've got the... It doesn't matter. I just win the game. Like, even if he kills this, I win the game. Because I've got Guzma in the discard. Yeah, I win. There's no chance of me losing here. I don't see how I could lose. Alright, I just win the game here. Um, we're going to... Charge this up. We're going to grab Guzma from the discard. Uh, we'll grab this guy. From you. And I win the game! And we got our, our prize card. We're on to tier three of the versus ladder.
Awesome! We got the Nagalglaglogl GX. Awesome! So we need a hundred and something more points for this treasure chest thing. Let's keep playing. I've got until about... I've got a, a few more hours still, so I can keep playing. All Psychic Deck. Interesting. He's taking the coin flip. Hello! I want to go first. This is definitely a go first deck. Um, it's not... He's not playing... Okay, we got Mew on, on the start. Mew's actually really good. I didn't realize Mew had no retreat cost. That's actually a very good deck. Or a very good card to have in this deck. Because not only is it a single prize card for the damage that Necrozma can output, it has no retreat. Oh! I see how it is. Uh, I want Necrozma down on the field. I'm gonna just discard a buttload of shit. Um... I'm going to discard both of these. Okay, and we'll grab... Um, a Rangaroo. Then I can draw an extra card to discard with Mysterious Treasure. Then I can grab the Verse Seeker to grab one of those trainers back. Okay, we're discarding Mysterious Treasure with Mysterious Treasure. Not ideal, but it'll, it'll have to do. Um, we'll go ahead and throw down an Inke. Okay, then we can play Verse Seeker. Grab Sycamore. Draw seven cards. And we've got the Metal Energy. Perfect. Got this. Got the Float Stone. Um, Choice Bands, no point in putting... The Float Stone, probably I should not have put down that turn. Um... Is it worth retreating this? This has dark. We're gonna stand in. I don't want Mew dying, actually. Um, I need. I think there's. There's one in the discard pile. Okay. I think I think that's a turn. I don't want to put down this um, choice ban yet until he, until I see him commit. Um, because I don't want him to, I don't want to commit the choice ban and then have it field blowered away. I should not have put down the field, the float stone, to be honest, because that can be field blowered away, and then we're in a bit of, bit of trouble. Yep, that's exactly what I, I, sh yep, I made that mistake. Mistakes have been made. Oh, that's fine. I don't really care about that. I wanted those in my discard pile. This man just helped me. I'll take it. Um, throw down the choice bend this turn, and, uh, can I afford to attach the energy? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, draw a card. See if we can get a float stone. Nope, we got a beast energy. Don't need it right now. Come on, float stone! None of those are a float stone. Uh, that's, I don't like that. Um, Professor's Letter first. Uh, we'll grab a Metal Energy as well. I'm gonna throw down another... Nope. Uh, I think we want another Malamar, actually. Let's throw that down. We've got a Guz, um, but he doesn't have anything else on his bench. Um... I don't think we have a really... Okay, he's got something on his bench, so we can kill that. And then... Hmm... Is he gonna retreat, I wonder, though? Or is he gonna just attack? That'll do 60. Okay, that's fine. 60. We just need a float stone, and then we can... Real... Okay, there we go. We got the float stone, we have got the game. Um... I... Don't need any of these cards. We're gonna grab a Cynthia. I don't want to discard them either, though. Um, eh. I don't want to discard the Guzma and the, and the Metal Energy, but the Bridget could have been discarded. I wouldn't have really cared about that that much. Um, okay. So we've got that. There's no point in throwing anything else down. We're just going to retreat for Alternate Krozma and take our prize card.
prize cards, because I get two. Alright, take that, and we'll take that. We got an extra float stone if it gets popped. We got an extra Dawn Wings Necrozma if it gets, if it gets popped. If your Pokemon used, uh, wait, hold on. If your Pokemon, opponent's Pokemon used an attack that isn't GX last turn, use it as this attack. Ah! Guzma. He wants my Oranguru for some reason. Uh, does he, do you, excuse me, do you know what this attack does? This ability does? I don't think he does. Guzmoing the Oranguru does absolutely nothing. It literally does not matter who's up front. Okay, well, this, this, apparently this guy's just not intelligent. He should have just conceded. I hate that you only get five. That's really stupid. We're on a six win streak? Jesus. Alright. 370 coins. We're close. Wait, you don't get an extra... What is this? Oh, you get a full art Gardenia. So, how much time? I have 11 days to finish this. Um, we're actually almost halfway done. Uh, but I technically don't need to get... I don't really care about the Gardenia, so we're about halfway done if you count it to 1670. Um, we're a little under that, but that's fine. Um, we have 11 days to finish this, so I definitely should be able to finish the Rank Ladder, and we'll get ourselves 8 more Cosmic Eclipse packs, 10 tickets, 600 coins, and whatever this gives me. Um... I think I'm going to end the stream right here, though. Uh, I am getting kind of bored, to be honest. I mean, it's been fun, but I'm, I'm getting a little bored. So I'm going to end the stream here. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, uh, hit the like button, and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if you would like to pick up some of my merch, there's a link down in the description. Click it and check some of my stuff out. There's a couple of different items on the shop. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I will see you next time.